When I was younger, there was nothing really to do. Like it was late nineties, I think, and there was nothing really to do. There was nothing really to go. So you were about ten. Yeah, there was loads of people in it. Always had someone looking out for you, just to like buy you food when you was hungry, stuff like that. And then it sort of moved on from there, and just sort of like got pressured into like helping them out with moving about with drugs and taking stuff and selling stuff on, climbing in through small windows and breaking into people's houses so that they could go in. When we go into like shops and stuff like that, the stuff would be put on us because then most of the security guards at shops don't take much notice of little kids. And you mentioned that the reason you got involved with them is that it was someone to look out for you mm-hmm. and someone to buy you food when you were hungry. Mm-hmm. Did you feel that you didn't have anyone looking out for you otherwise and you didn't have anyone to feed you? I did, but they're a lot tighter than most friend groups or stuff like that. They're like just another family group. So you never give anyone else up. And you mentioned they used to buy you food. Yeah, because it was always long days from early in the morning, like especially in summer holidays, early in the morning till kind of late. They used to always take us out, food, drink, whenever we wanted it. Did they feed you better than, you know, your mum could, basically? Yeah, because they always had a constant supply of money because of all the stuff they was involved in. It was a lot easier. Your mum and dad to provide have to go to work, which is a harder and a slower process of getting money. We used to walk around Tesco's with because the if you had a thick bag on your back, the detect the security detectors didn't pick it up. So you could just walk around. Your mate has a bag on his back and just go boom, 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 pile it up, zip it up, walk out the shop, and you got loads of loads of food, everything like that, just to walk out with. And the thing is, most kids do that from young, so they pick up all the mistakes. So by the time they get to like sec, just start secondary school. They know all the tricks and their mum's letting them out so they can do all of it without... And they know that if they get caught first time, the police are just going to give them a slap on the wrist, that's it. Don't do it again, a warning. So So it's not come from nowhere then. The the criminality, the looting that we've seen is nothing new. Yeah. It isn't nothing new. I mean, the security guards, they they just stand there with their arm on the security thing and just stand there bored. And, like, if you was to actually just run out the shop, you've got a massive red start before they start chasing you on. You've, they've probably lost you before they even come out of the shop. So, it's, uh, I don't know. Where does the police come into all of this? Was your gang and were your gang leaders scared of the police? No. I don't think, I don't think the police have ever had a strong enough presence on the streets, especially with how much we can get away with over here. And, like, the police can't really do a lot to stop us. Because of... You've got loads of back streets and stuff like that. It's not just all main roads. It's very easy to get away from them. As long as, you, as, long as you're not taking it anywhere near anyone's house, then they don't really follow it. I mean, we... Um, there were some boys who petrol-bombed the car and got away with it. It was broad daylight as well. What happened? Explain what happened. Tell me what you saw. Um... All sitting up the river wire and some some like you get you get paid about depending on the car, this was a Range Rover, so you get paid about two bills, two hundred two hundred quid just for doing it. So they just smashed the window with their arm, that's it all in petrol, and then lit a match and just threw it in. So it all went up in flames. And it took about half an hour for the police to get there anyway and the fire engines and by that point the car had completely blown. You get two hundred pounds from who? Just whoever wants it done. If someone's done something to someone, it's just like a revenge tactic or anything like that. And the police? It took them half an hour to get there. And everyone had run, scarpered. Yeah. Is it those sort of people who have been rioting and looting? No, I, I don't think... It's like some of, it, some of it, yeah. But others, no. They've just seen on the TV the Tottenham and the... Um, Brixton bit and thought this looks well easy you know that if it all happens in all different areas the police ain't got no chance of stopping you all so it's just going to be easy to just run in and get what you need and just go I, 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 I think hardly any young people are actually scared of the police especially with the numbers being cut now and everything else like even when the numbers were up they, they you still didn't see them a lot regardless of what was going on so now their numbers have been cut like, the government's just making it harder for them, to be honest. So. Where are parents in all of this? 